John here guys and today we're talking about the Mobulus 7 HD Happy Models new HD Zero compatible tiny flyer that is kind of the intersection of flying indoors and outdoors and is it easier faster less stress on you to just buy it instead of build it and for this size i can tell you i spent quite a bit of time trying to get the new 1s board to work with something that i had on hand i tried a bunch of different frames and a bunch of different boards and i really couldn't get it to work that wasn't an issue with hd zero it was just an issue with not all of the boards on the market are compatible but when you buy like this everything is guaranteed to work out of the box and there's no stress to it and especially with express lrs i don't even have to touch this thing i can just plug it into usb put my bind phrase into the cli tab and then boom, I'm ready to fly. Man, this thing is nice. They stepped the weight up a bit by adding this HD Zero system, but not as much as you might think. And because they also stepped the motors up accordingly, you actually have a nice little bit of power to maneuver this thing indoors. But is it as fun as the amazingly agile original Mobula 7, I will have to say both yes and no. It does a couple of things better, but it doesn't have quite as much power to sail in the way that you would have went just like Christopher Cross, but it still can take you away just where you want to be. This thing comes in at 40 grand, which is a little bit heavy for an indoor flyer. Keep in mind, this is also 2S. Now you're probably best off doing a 350 2S, but I like to use 450 for a little bit extra juice. And together you're looking at about 69 grams. 69 dudes! Now, what Happy Model does for this formula is they're using their really nice all-in-one board. That's right, the one with the Express LRS ceramic antenna built in for easy, easy building. Then on top of that, slightly above, you can see the HD0 Whoop VTX Run Cam Nano HD0 camera on top, which is very nice. This custom uh, canopy, which is actually very durable. The 1S HD0 Whoop board. Let's take a look at this thing. And this is the combo that's going to be sold by HD0, the very small and light. Uh, you can get a really short MIPI cable right here with this combo, and it comes with this very tiny, tiny HD Zero camera, perfect for converting your favorite analog whoop over to HD Zero, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Now, the really cool thing that I like about this is it can be supplied by 1S, that's right, 1S power. It has really nice accessible pads, and it even has a smart audio pad if you wanted to connect that up for easy channel changing. If you take a look here at the Race V2 video transmitter, this thing is quite a bit small. You can see they've been able to save a good bit of space and weight. And I really like that they have this heat sink to be able to keep all of the heat um, from leaking from or to this very handsome uh, video transmitter. This is the Whoop Light. I feel like if they could make this in a 2020 and you could see that it's just not quite the right dimensions, that I would actually prefer to use this in a racing quad supplied by a five volt from my flight controller rather than this. This fits in a lot more space. This is really the key to getting that HD Zero um, a little bit more compatible for a lot of builds. This build weighs 30 grams, so it's a bit heavier than I would like. I was having some troubles getting the VTX to fit. I ended up going with this Meteor 65 frame and motors, and you can see it does sit a bit taller uh, than you would like, but it kind of works. Um, the other thing that is essential for this is having some really, really long um, of these tiny little screws. I believe these are 1.2, but I don't really know. And I couldn't find them anywhere. I went through dozens of every little tiny whoop um, build that I had from many, many years back. And I found the UR UAV 65 had very long screws like this. So I took that apart just to get these screws. 
Um, I'm also using the Express LRS uh, all-in-one board, and then I also had to break the ceramic antenna off right here so that I could run a 31 millimeter piece of wire that will be the antenna for it. But I was having some issues with everything browning out, so it's really nice to be able to get this combo but unfortunately, I was not able to get it to work. Now, I had a very tough time trying to fit a similar system into a 65 millimeter whoop. There are those out there have, that have done it. I actually got to fly cubes in the tiny whoop tent at International Open, but I think that this bind and fly is a better choice for a lot of folks. And now they are coming out with the HD0 Mobula 6. So which one should you get? If you wanna be able to fly indoors and outdoors and have maybe a little bit more toughness a little bit more juice then you want to go with this one if you want to fly indoors only then you definitely probably want to go with the Mobula 6 now indoors this actually is very maneuverable and I really liked having that extra bit of power on board I felt like I could put it exactly where I wanted to put it I could still weave in and out of chair legs no problem and it's just a delight now it does seem to be the same original Mobula 7 frame these 1102 19,000 kV motors with the three blades props so this thing does end up a bit heavier and it doesn't quite fly the same outdoors I felt like it was getting sort of a pendulum effect I also tried some 550 batteries and those would fly and give you like over seven minutes of flight time but the issue is that it feels a bit sluggish and if you try to do a punch it's difficult to recover with that extra weight so 350 would probably be best for outdoors and just keep the flight times closer to three minutes with this 450 you could get like five and a half six minutes and it's gonna have a little bit less performance for indoors though when you're not really doing acro flips and stuff it actually feels really nice I got like just a ton of flight time indoors I was sending this and I didn't really want to have to walk because it's a hot summer's day in Texas 100 degrees this top cage is also really nice it hits you puts you at an angle that makes turtle moding so easy so when you land upside down like that you just put turtle mode on hit the throttle and it'll be like boop flip itself right over and because the bottom is so nice and flat you get a successful turtle mode almost every single time and you are only using a dipole antenna so you're not going to get the best reception but for me it was totally fine i was able to fly this in and out of playground equipment as well it can take a hit because this frame is pretty good now for about 200 bucks this is actually a pretty good deal considering all of the chip shortage pricing increases that we've seen lately so hd0 is making huge strides now now remember early on when I was quite critical of the system, part of the criticisms were that no binding fly manufacturers had accepted the system and that's really a benchmark on how safe the future of that system is going to be of course you want to buy into something that's going to be around for a while that's why i don't recommend anyone buy into that new walk snail fat shark thing because we don't know if that's going to be supported but now I have this Mobula 7 HD, I have this Fox Whoop HD by Fox here, and more and more Bind and Fly manufacturers are shipping products with HD0 on board out of the box, so it's pretty much guaranteed fresh now. This is the best one that I would suggest if you wanted an indoor, outdoor. If you want indoor only, maybe the Mobula 6, and of course, if you want outdoor only, you can actually buy a Tiny Trainer HD like this. I'll have a link for that in the description below as well. You can buy it from GetFPV and they'll have everything built for you so that you don't have to do it. And this is a really nice craft. There's been over $10,000 given away this year for Tiny Trainer Racing and there may be a lot more by the end of the year. So this could be your investment. Or if you just want to annoy your wife or your cat, or your kids, Mobula 7.